My name is Amber Dubois Shepherd, and I am this year's Momentum Spotlight Artist for 2021. A lot of my work is narrative based, um, based on my Native American culture and background and heritage. Um, I had an idea at first, but they were going to be a lot smaller. But after talking to Pablo and Kristen about the project and also thinking about the use of color and no color, we kind of came to the conclusion with their guidance of creating large black and white pieces, but still in my style, the way I would probably create some of my mixed media pieces. I myself being an educator at a museum, I have a tendency to over explain things because that's my job um, as the educator to know everything in our collection or try to. But over the years, I've started to learn to draw back a little and just let the artwork speak for it. I don't need to label all the things that this piece is about just because I want people to look at the art and just figure out what's going on in the piece. Um, and it's hard because people will ask me, what's this piece about? And I'm like, uh, well, what do you think it's about? So I kind of give them that opening to try to explain. So especially with these pieces, they're, the language, you, don't, you may not even know what it's saying or what is being spoken. So you're kind of wondering, what, what are they saying translated to English? But that's the beauty of it is you're just listening to that traditional language and seeing traditional artwork that encompasses the whole thing, so. Now the one that I did where it looks like all me, that I drew four different times, but that piece is representative of me in myself. So in the text, I'm actually greeting you in my various languages, but I'm also giving you my clans for both my Navajo side and then my Sac and Fox um, clan, as well as my Sac and Fox name. That one kind of represents my various background of Navajo, Sac, and Fox, Potawatomi, even my French her heritage from my um, grandpa, who's not native. So um, the Dubois, that's what the name means, the woods. So I included the fur de lis in that one and Sac and Fox design, Potawatomi design, Navajo design. So it's representing all my traditional regalia in those areas too. So that one was really kind of personal, I feel like to me. They're all personal, but that one was like more about me. So it was a little different. With these pieces, what I had in mind was for the viewers to kind of take away a piece of maybe feeling more connected to native culture and maybe even learning something about the various languages. Um, it's definitely a piece to kind of study and spend some time with, and just to be more connected, I guess, with um, Native culture and just kind of learning more about Native people here in Oklahoma um, and just around, that we're Native people are still struggling with gaining their language, so every little thing I can help to inspire somebody else to learn more about the languages would definitely, um, is very powerful to me, so.